Hello everyone, this is Little Black Dragon, and you are watching another installment of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins Dwarven Commoner Edition. In our last installment, uh, we quick stopped at Soldier's Peak to forge the legendary Star Fang, which Gilda currently has equipped, as you can see. Um, let's see what else. We finished up uh, the side quests that needed to get doing before we go rescue the queen. And... That's pretty much it. Um... And we dumped a bunch of stuff off at the party chest. We'll be coming back for it later. Uh, but first we're going to complete, um... Uh, rescuing the queen and uh, possibly uh, we'll also wait until we've completed the next part of the lands meet which is uh, unrest in the alienage um, and that is about what I have for a recap this time uh, so without further ado uh, we are going to head back to Denerim. Uh, we will quick stop at Arl Eamon's estate so we can switch out uh, party members before we go and rescue the queen because I'm going to take uh, the usual suspects, Alistair, Wynne, and Liliana, since I actually haven't taken them out together since the Brazilian forest, I think. And it's just one part of the lands meet, which uh, I wouldn't mind, and uh, but I will be taking Zevron and uh, maybe Ogren and Win for the uh, next part of the lands meet, Unrest in the Alienage. Now I have reminded people that Starfang cannot be transferred to uh, Dragon Age Awakening, so one thing we'll be doing is making sure we'll have uh, good uh, weapons in our inventory before we actually set out to destroy the Archdemon. Or, well, I suppose it's possible. But anyway, we won't have to worry about armor, but we might have to worry about weapons. So before we actually go to face the Archdemon after the lands meet, we will make sure to be outfitted with some proper weapons that we can take with us to Dragon Age Awakening so that it will be in our inventory when we need it. So like I said, we're just gonna briefly stop here. Um, everybody is uh, properly equipped. Um, Although his uh, his outfit isn't particularly good, but whatever. Uh, let's see. And your armor is still really good, so we don't really need to worry about that. Um. Actually, I'm gonna see if anyone needs leveling up before we go. So let's. Well, you're. Like I mentioned, I think I forgot I was ready to nearly uh, reach al optimal level. So I'm excited about that. Uh, you don't need leveling up, and you don't need leveling up. You don't need leveling up. Does anybody need leveling up? I guess not. Let's see. What have you. Oh, good. Oh, good. Um, because if you didn't already have Cone of Cold Morgan, I would be very concerned. Uh, you're probably wondering why I am checking Morrigan's, uh, spell selection, and that is because, um, that is because I'm planning on doing something with her later in the game that will require 
or it won't require, but it will be extremely useful if I have either Crushing Prison or Cone of Cold. It would have been easier if I outfitted her with Crushing Prison, but you know what, I think we'll be just fine with Cone of Cold. Um, so, I guess uh, she has everything that we need. And of course, I'll be leveling her up as necessary. But I am planning uh, on taking her with me in a l to the actual uh, lands meet. Uh, and it is always good if you have a mage in your party uh, that can fight offensively. And she is a spirit healer with all of her uh, abilities, so... It won't hurt us that much to switch her out for win. And honestly, considering how pivotal a character she is to the Dragon Age series, uh, I do find it would be appropriate for her to accompany us to the lands meet. Uh, so yeah, that's why I'm checking out uh, Morrigan's uh, spell repertoire. Um... I think everybody is properly outfitted. So, uh, with that in mind, I believe uh, we can move on. And of course, like I said, we are taking yes. the usual suspects. Uh, Alistair, Indeed. Leliana, and Wynn. Yes. Which... We will be using to rescue the crew. Oh, wait. I might actually have to leave Alistair behind on this one. Because I just thought about what would happen if I took him along. And I want to show you guys a very particular path. Uh, or rather, my favorite path. So... I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to go back in and reselect my party. Because I guess we won't be taking Alistair with us. Because I want to do something very specific. But that is okay. I'm still taking Wen and Leliana. I guess I'll just be taking someone who is not Alistair. So, Wen yes. is obviously coming. And Liliana is obviously coming. Indeed. Um, let's see. Who should I bring? Uh Well, I know that Sten and Ogren both heavily disapprove of uh the route I'm going to take. Um I'm guessing Morrigan might disapprove. Um, not that I particularly care, but not sure how Sevron or Shale would feel about it. Ah, uh, to be safe, I'll take the dog. After all, we haven't used him in a while, and it would be nice to have Enzo with us. Because he's a good boy. Um. So I guess it's a ladies' day out with the dog. Unless somehow we're forced to pick somebody else. Um. I don't know if we're allowed to take the dog with us, but we'll just have to see what happens. Ideally, I would like the dog to come with us. Now, I believe we have some work to do. Oh! Enzo trots off happily. Um... Wait, where are you going? Enzo runs up to you happily. He appears to have found a friend. Puppy! Uh... Where are your mother and father? <laughs> Puppy! He wags his tail. 
Um, he comes. Blah blah blah. <clears throat> if he comes with us, he's going to have to fight Darkspawn. <coughs> um, I know he's too young. That's my point. Low wine, and so he takes the child back to his parents. Uh, so yeah, that's an interesting thing. I actually made a separate video of that once. I'm not sure if it's still up or not. But that is an interesting uh, interaction. Um, I guess we still have the bodies to take care of if that site is still marked. Uh, but I'm not particularly concerned with that anyway, so I think I will be fine. Now, I'm hoping they'll actually, like I said, I'm hoping they'll actually let us take the dog with, but if they don't, it's not the end of the world. I'll just have to switch out for somebody else who might get a bit of disapproval, uh, which can be remedied, so... I just don't like to have to head back to camp and have to deal with that, but whatever. All right. The servant's entrance is on the other side of the house. We must slip past this cloud to reach it. We will have to be very careful. Our how is inside. All right. Um. What's the crowd gathered for? The estate is in poor repair. The new owl, he has not been very prompt in paying his workmen. I will be right behind you. No, Alright, sounds good. So it looks like we're going to have to go this way. And... Make sure. Oh dear. Yes. Huh. Yes. Huh. And I'm off. All right. Going. And I'm off. Another point for me. Good job, Enzo. Looks like we got caught there. All right. Let's see if we can get further. And I have no idea where I'm going. Ooh, pumpkins. That's... I like pumpkins. But that's not where we're going. Oh, wait. There are plants we can pick up here. And cabbages! Uh... I have no idea where we're actually supposed to be going. Um... Here we go. I can distract the gods. But you must move quickly. Um. Wait, we need to put on our disguises. Holly, my lady does not have much time. Are you all prepared? I will go distract the guards. All right. Uh. What good are the uniforms if they won't get us inside? These two know who is allowed to come and go. They will not be fooled. But the uniform should work on most of those inside. Let's go. I will lure them into the courtyard. Wait in the bushes. All right. Um... Oh, you must come! I saw something! By the fountain, 
I think it was a dark spawn. Dark spawn? They will drag us all underground to be eaten. Should we call for help? Did you fall off a cart full of stupid? Call for help? So they can see us act like scared little girls because of some knife-eared wench? They will eat us all alive! Please get help! If there is something out there and we don't sound the alarm, we'll look worse than scared. And dress these holy knickers. Fine, we'll check the courtyard, if it'll keep you from wetting yourself. But there's nothing there. Thank you. Oh, it was over here. Quickly. All right. Time to go inside. And why did we switch back into our regular clothes again? I'm confused now. Oh, there we go. So, we're actually out of time, so I'm going to save and cut the video off here. But I will see you all in the next installment of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins Dwarven Commoner Edition, where we rescue Queen Honora. See you next time.